Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is part one of Conquering Fears. Um, I've done a tutorial like this before once on my channel. So kind of going off of that. And um, today I'm going to be showing you guys this Bare Necessities palette. So it is textured. Um, it is like a pinky beige color. Oh my God, no! <laughs> I don't think you guys will be able to tell on camera, but that is what it looks like. Um, it does come with a protective thing on it, and the palette is exactly the same as the box. Hey! So, obviously, this is not going to be an hey! ASMR video. Baby's in the background, the other kids are in the other room. Um, but anyways, this is the back of the palette. just has all the shades. I believe it's 30, 30 shades in here. Um, but it's just a very nice palette. I've had it for a couple weeks. I just haven't been able to use it because I haven't worn makeup in over a month, I think. Or if I have, it's been like super basic, like nothing, basically. Um, so... Those are all the shades, very neutral, very cool tone, just a little bit of everything. Um, and it's just literally just me in a palette. Got my favorite kind of tone of shade. Just a lot of beautiful things in here. And Silk Teddy is like one of the main reasons for this. I haven't swatched it. It's all brand spanking new. I also have the set that came with it, or I bought the set of brushes, not that I need anymore, but these are all of the brushes. It also came with, I think, two face brushes, um, but I will not be using those because I just don't need to. Um, what made me buy this set is the amount of eye brushes. I use a ton of eye brushes for my makeup and I just liked the all the different blending brushes and I was waiting to buy a set from Sigma but this was just a way better deal and I wanted to give them a try and see if they were good quality or not so I think that was uh like 40 40 dollars or something like that but i did get a discount since they were having a 25 percent off sale site-wide so always wait for those um same thing with this i think i paid about 30 dollars um or 25 with discount and i'm just kind of seeing my child over there in the background so we're just going to go ahead and get started um, I think we're going to start with in the buff here at the very top. I don't know. Let's use this ColourPop B15. Just a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with that in the buff. And I did do my eyebrows already because I wasn't planning on doing this video. But here we are, and I'm only doing one eye because I'm kind of on a time crunch and I don't have time to do both. Hmm. Yes, let's do this one right here, which is Hot Gossip. So we're going to go in with that. This is more of a neutral... Kind of a neutral shade for your crease. And I'm just going in with that same brush that I was using before. I typically do that with all my brushes. Okay, so this eye is fully blended. Um, I did the other eye off camera just because, again, I'm on a time crunch. Um, what I have noticed is these shadows do have a little bit of fallout, even with me just tapping into them. Like, I'm not being rough at all. I'm just tapping them, and they just have fallout. So, 
I don't know what that's about, but we're going to keep going. I'm going to use tabloid. So that right there in the middle. We're going to tap into that. And that one actually doesn't have as much fallout. So I'm guessing it's just like the shades, certain shades. Yes, baby. go in with E16. It's just a little bit smaller. Sorry, mine sprayed a little bit, but it's a little bit smaller than that one. Um, so we're going to use Crack On, and this is more of a cool toned brown, and we're just going to use that to deepen up this outer corner. And then bring it into the grease a little bit. So that's what it's looking like. I know it looks a little bit washed out, but it's definitely a little bit more intense. No. Anyway. Fortunately, the lights do wash away a lot of the color that I'm trying to do. Just don't have better lighting in here. So I'm going to go back to the E15 and into Hot Gossip, which we used to blend the first time around. And we're just going to use that to diffuse the very top. I'm going to use some of Taboo, which is that really dark shade and probably a little bit of velveteen down at the very bottom. So I'm gonna try to mix those two. And again, put it on the outer corner, um, deepen, deepen that up. Bring it into the crease, whatever's left over. Back into, no baby. Back into E15 and just blend all of that together. All right, that's what we're looking like right now. Um, I think I'm gonna just stop there because like I said, I'm on a time crunch and we are gonna start in with the shimmers. I don't know what color shimmer I want. I think we're gonna go in with the E3 brush, which is just a flat brush. And Idle Hour looks really pretty, so I think I'm going to use some of that for the very inner corner. Mm. Not as intense as I thought it was going to be. Try to layer that. It's not wet, so maybe if you wet it, it'll be a little bit more intense. I'm going into Silk Teddy. Going with my finger into Silk Teddy, which is that really pretty color in the middle and I'm just going to tap it and that is definitely the way to go all right guys I'm back finished with the other eye I'm going to go in with this physician's formula 
eyeliner pen in black um, or ultra black I think it is yep ultra black um, I curled my eyelashes also and then I don't know if I shared at the beginning of this video what I did with my eyebrows but I did use the Sigma um, medium brow powder so I do have that on my eyebrows and then the soft ochre paint pot for my base for my eyeshadow so that's all I had had on before I started this look so that's just how the shadows are performing on top of that again I'm going to do this eyeliner I'm going to very cringily cringily tug at my eye All right, I'm back. So, all the wing is done. What are we going to do next? I'm going to do concealer, which is this Urban Decay All Nighter in medium light. Medium? Well, medium light warm, sorry. So, I'm just going to put that under my eyes. Forgot to mention, but I did add this Clinique um, Moisture Surge as my base. But either way, my skin is just super dry. So I'm going to be using this Catrice HD Coverage Foundation in Natural Beige. I'm going to be using my Elf Sponge, same thing I use underneath my eyes, and. I'm gonna do conceal the other eye and finish up the foundation. I'm going to add some of this NYX Control Freak in my eyebrows just to set them so that they're not all over the place. And this is one of my favorite uh, eyebrow gels. So really recommend it. And it's usually on sale for like $5, which is always a win. Sorry, I have been out of focus like this entire video. I am such a crappy uh, person, but I'm not used to being on camera like this. So, I will be doing um, the Dose of Colors brown eyeliner in Sketch. It's actually in Sketch. It is a twist up. I'm going to be doing that under... my eyes and she loved being in a hurry this is literally my life all right that's all i'm gonna do for that um i did end up finishing the foundation and i used this ultimate brush set and go set and go off powder in medium so that is what I used. I'm going to contour really quick with my Sigma Sculpt Highlighting Contour Palette. We are going to use this Sigma Soft Angled Contour, contour F23. And I'm going to be using Baking It and Grow Shades, so the two middle shades. And I'm just going to be softly contouring with those two. Since I do not have cheekbones. And I just love how this brush diffuses the contour. So that's basically it. I'm going to go into faking it, which is a lighter shade right there. Just a tiny bit. And right on the side of my nose. I'm 
and the both sides just to slim down my nose a little bit since I do have a little bit of a chunkier nose and I have a super bulky nose I don't pinch my brush or anything I just kind of lay it on there I feel like that's the way it looks the most natural I am going to go back into another Sigma blush cheek palette I'm going to be using a mixture of this one and that one right there nope, not spiced uh sorry mood mob and cor de rosa so this one right here and that one right there in the corner um i usually like to mix those shades and i'm using the tapered face f25 and just bringing that blush from and the cheekbones all the way up like lifts my face just a tiny bit i'm just doing the same thing just uh bringing that blush from the apples all the way to the top and soften that up with the sponge a little bit just because i feel like it got a little crazy i'm going to be going in with this ColourPop e6 liner brush back into the bare necessities palette really quick i'm going to dip into hot gossip and tabloid so Velveteen right there. And it just smokes it out just a little bit. Back into Velveteen just a little bit more. I feel like I just a, just a little bit more to smoke that out. All right. We are done with this palette, I think, maybe. We're going to go back into E16. Blend that out just a bit. I'm gonna use the ColourPop E3, E3, yeah, E3, into Idle Hour, right in the inner corner, on both eyes, and I like it. I think that is a good look. My face is. So gross. All right, I zoomed out. Welcome to my face. I am so behind on time. I'm using an Urban Decay pencil. Lip pencil. Um, unfortunately, I think Midnight Cowboy is discontinued. But they have a lot of mauve. Um the pencils that are just like that um deep a little bit of deep i think they still make deep i'm not sure these are pretty old as you can tell i'm pretty much at the end of it and that is the complete look i don't know if you guys like it my hair is crazy i'm just gonna pop a head headband a uh, hat on since like i said i am running so late all right i decided that i'm gonna add a little bit of velvet teddy from mac on my lips just because they are so dry um my mom is outside so i have to run and get out of here i'm going to add smashbox primer water on really quick And that's just going to help hydrate my face just a tiny bit since it is so dry. And that is the look, guys. Sorry for my hair being so crazy and the chaoticness, but that is real life for me. That is a real get ready with me. Me trying to do all this stuff in like less than 30 minutes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, just let me know in the comments how you guys like these there's going to be all kinds of stuff. There's going to be ASMR. There's going to be videos of beauty. There's going to be who knows what. Just let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys later because I have to go and get my jacket on. So I'll see you guys. Bye.